Welcome to Addicted to Real Estate TV. On today's episode, we're going to talk about do the opposite. So stick around and I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. To say you got to know somebody or know somebody to get somewhere these days. To say you know that's all right, yeah that's all right. Cause you know that's all right with me. Yeah you know that's all right, yeah that's all right. Welcome back. I'm Phil Falcone, your host of Addicted to Real Estate TV. Today's episode was sponsored by Executex Suites, a 47-unit full-service office building in Huntington Valley, PA, where office prices start at only $4.95 a month. You can check them out at the phone number above or the website below. So today's episode, we're going to talk about do the opposite. What am I talking about? I'm more convinced now than ever in my life that all you have to do to be rich in this world is to do the exact opposite of what the world is doing. I can't believe it today. I go to get my hair cut and the hairdresser says, what do you do for a living? I say, I'm a real estate investor. Oh my God, you must be having such a terrible time. I can't help but laugh. I look at this market as the greatest opportunity in my lifetime and probably a situation that's going on right now that may never present itself again. To me, it's like picking gold out from under the rainbow that's been sitting there just waiting for anybody who's smart enough to go grab it to take it. But uh, you know, the general consensus of the public is the exact opposite. That real estate is depressed and blah blah blah, everything is so terrible. And it just, it just makes me laugh, it really does. I wanna tell you a little bit about some of the things that I'm doing today. Properties are for sale everywhere you look. I'm not talking about just the ones that have for sale signs on the front lawn. I'm talking about all the other people who don't even have for sale signs on the lawn because they figure they don't have a shot in hell selling their buildings. What you need to do is you find properties that you're interested in buying and you need to Give them their price that they need on your terms. That's right, their price on your terms. What do I mean by that? You want a million dollars for your house and I can rent your house out for $2,000 a month. Fine, I'll give you a million dollars for your house. No problem. I'm gonna, I want 100% seller financing at 0% interest and I want payments to be $1,000 a month for 1,000 months. That's right, $1,000 a month for 1,000 months. My terms. Is it going to take me 83 years to pay off that property? Yes, it will. I don't care. I won't be around here to see that happen, and either will you. But I'm going to make $1,000 a month off your property because I can rent it for two grand. You get the idea? My terms. Your house, your price. You sit down with owners, you find out what it is that they need. You don't always have to offer them a million dollars for the property, but you need to find out what it is that they expect to get from this deal. And what is it going to take to make them actually sell it to you? And if you can figure that out, well then you're golden, okay? You really have something now. And if there's a way that you can offer to them what they want and still get what you want, that's the kind of thing that I'm doing today. Being creative, thinking outside the box, asking for seller financing asking for taking over the mortgage, subject to, trying to assume mortgages, and any other outside the box idea that I can come up with. And today's market requires this kind of outside the box thinking because let's face it, banks aren't lending us any money, are they? Nope. I never got rejected for a loan in my life until 2009. I've been in this business since 1989. Never once rejected for a loan, never. And 2009 was the strongest year I ever had financially in my life. But all of a sudden, I'm not credit worthy. It's ridiculous, okay? Because I have more than four properties. Who even came up with that number? Threw a dart at a dartboard and picked the number four. It's ridiculous. It doesn't matter how many investment properties I have. What matters is how much money I'm making off of those properties. And if I've proven myself to be a successful real estate investor, then that's all that should matter. I just found out this week that Bank of America, one of the largest banks in the United States, has 16,000 homes that they're going to foreclose on in the first half of 2011. I mean, opportunity is coming, my friends. Are you awake? Are you listening? Are you ready for it? You need to be out there making offers and only make offers 
that you are absolutely sure before you make them that if the answer is yes, that there's no way you're going to say no to it at that point. There's no way you're going to change your mind because the offer you made was so advantageous to you that you couldn't possibly say no to it if, in fact, they do say yes. The bulk of the offers I put out there, the answer is no. What do I care? It doesn't take me that long. Realtors tell me all the time, okay, put, a, put an agreement in writing. No way, I'm not putting an agreement in writing. I'm going to shoot you an email with one paragraph and says, here's the deal. I'm paying you this. This is the kind of financing I need. Let me know if you're interested. And then, then and only then will I write it up. Okay, you have to get into that kind of mindset. Get used to saying no. Get used to people saying no to you. And who cares? Okay, you can take it. You're tough, right? You got to be tough to be a real estate investor. This isn't an easy business. So if you set your mind to that kind of thinking, you're going to do great. Acquire properties that cash flow and get them at today's market values so that the future market values of these properties are going to make you a wealthy person. And everything that I'm buying today, I'm planning on keeping. That's right, everything. People say, well, I'm going to flip it. You're not going to flip it, okay? It's pretty damn hard to flip properties in this market. So you have to figure out a way where you can keep these properties. If you'd like to read about some of the strategies that I use to do this kind of thing, check out my book, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop and Why You Should Start. And you can check it out at this website right here. And you can, there's an icon of the book on the website. And you just click on it. and It takes you right to Amazon where you can read the first 15 pages. I'm Phil Falcone, and I want you to remember to do the opposite. Thanks for watching.